before this girl. You're going to stand in the mirror and you're going to talk. You're going to talk to yourself, guys. You're going to speak so much love into... I love my body. My my body is so beautiful. I am obsessed with the person that I am right now. Girl, speak these affirmations over yourself. Hey, baby. Welcome to the I Am Her podcast with Princess Royalty. Make sure you stay tuned and do not forget who you are because, baby, you are her. Hi, my loves. Welcome to the very first episode of the I Am Her podcast with Princess Royalty. Guys, I'm so excited to be here. I am so excited for the journey we are going to have because, guys, we are going to evolve. We are going to grow. And I hope you can join me in this beautiful journey. So, guys, what is the I Am Her podcast? What are we about? So, the I Am Her podcast is a podcast where we literally talk about anything and everything that involves becoming her. Because at the end of the day, we need to be able to look at ourselves and be like, you know what? I am definitely her girl, period. So we talk about mental health. Guys, when it comes to mental health, we're going to talk about everything. Social anxiety, depression, and anxi- guys, everything and anything, we are going to get messy. Some of these things, guys, we can't keep them in the closet. We have to take them out and talk about it. So we're going to talk about mental health. We're going to talk about self-confidence. We're going to talk about why we aren't confident. We're going to talk about insecurities, self-hate, guys, everything. We're going to talk about self-love. We're going to talk about why we don't love ourselves. We're going to talk about bullying. We're going to talk about low self-esteem. Guys, we're talking about literally anything and everything on this channel. So I hope you guys join me in this beautiful journey to basically becoming her. So guys, in this episode... We're going to be talking about confidence. I honestly asked myself, what is something that I'd like to come here and speak about on my first episode? And I just thought about confidence because sometimes we can be confident, but we aren't confident. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Guys, have you ever been? Okay, I've been somebody that I honestly felt like I had confidence when it came to certain seasons in my life or when I was a certain shape. Guys, whenever I'd lose weight, I felt like the most confident girl ever. But when I gained back that weight, guys, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm so fat. I'm so ugly. And all that confidence would literally disappear, guys. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how you can actually achieve being confident in all forms, in all seasons of your life. We need to be able to still show up as a confident person, be a confident person. Whether we lose gain or or whether we turn pink or purple, we still need to feel that, you know what, I am her. I am that girl. So we're going to talk about that. So guys... I have a few tips that I'm going to discuss in this episode and I'm going to just help us break down how we can actually achieve complete confidence. So the first thing I'm going to speak about is understanding why we aren't confident and writing it down. So something you can actually do is maybe on your phone or maybe in a journal, write down the reasons why you feel you are not confident, guys. So I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I am a child of God. I am God's daughter and oh, amen, Lord Jesus. Um, So I'm going to talk about Jesus. Let me just put that disclaimer out there. If you don't believe in God, girl, it's okay. Still listen. If you are uncomfortable and you feel like, okay, I can't listen, it's fine. Go to another episode and trust me, you'll probably get something that you'd like to hear there. So um, just to put that disclaimer out there. So yeah why aren't you confident like write it down and the reason why i put that disclaimer is sometimes we don't even know why we aren't confident and we can think about okay i'm not confident because you don't even have an answer so guys there's so much importance in praying about these things because i believe that everything and anything has a root there is a reason that you aren't confident And maybe you're just not aware about it. So it's so important to just give some of these things to God, pray to God and say, you know what, God, 
Lord Jesus, I don't know why I'm confident. God, show me why I'm not confident. <laughs> tell me why I'm not confident. And God will literally tell you. He will reveal it to you and say, okay, my girl, my daughter, you are not confident because of this. So let's get down to the root. Like, why aren't you confident? So, for example, let's say you aren't confident right now because maybe you don't have your desired body. Maybe you aren't thick maybe you're not slim thick maybe you're not thin whatever body shape that you feel would make you confident like maybe that's why you aren't confident write it down i am not confident because i don't have an hourglass figure i am not confident because i don't have a big butt guys it can be literally anything i'm not confident because i have a big nose i'm not confident because i hate my lips I have a big forehead, guys. It might not even have to do with you. Sometimes you can be in spaces and circles with friends that literally do not give us the space and the platform to be confident. Guys, it is so real. It is so real to be the ugly friend. I was once there like the ugly girl in the friend group. Write it down. I can't be confident because I feel like my friends are way prettier than me. And I feel like I am not. Literally write it down. Get to the root. So once we've done that, we need to love these things. Start loving these things that you feel are the reason why you can't achieve confidence. Okay, let me explain what I'm saying. So for example, let's say you feel like, okay, I can't be confident because I don't have an hourglass figure or I don't have a flat stomach. Baby girl, you are still her with that big stomach. Let me just say it. You are still her. Girl, if you wrote down, I can't be confident because I don't have a big butt. Girl, you are still her with that butt that you feel is the reason why you're not confident. Baby girl, you need to love everything about yourself. Now, when I say that, I do not mean do not change yourself, right? Right. The goal for our confidence is for us to not associate it with a certain form or shape of ourselves. You need to be able to be completely confident. Let's make examples. So let's say, for example, you meet a magician and they or God answers your prayer and you wake up tomorrow with literally your dream body. Okay, fine. You feel your confident self and everything is okay. What if you wake up the following day and it's all gone? So are you literally going to go back to not being confident? No, we need to be able to always be confident whether we don't or whether we do have our dream body, our dream face or our dream anything, guys. Literally, we need to just always be confident. So start loving the reasons why you aren't confident. So we're going to make an example of your body let's say you feel like okay i'm so skinny i can't be confident because i haven't gained weight yet baby you're gonna go in front of your mirror every single time you wake up baby before you put on your lip gloss before you wash your face before you have your mascara your lashes everything before this girl you're gonna stand in the mirror and you're gonna talk you're going to talk to yourself, guys. You're going to speak so much love into... I love my body. My my body is so beautiful. I am obsessed with the person that I am right now. Girl, speak these affirmations over yourself. I need you to find the beauty in your current body. I'm not saying you have to remain the way you are. Girl, go ahead. Go on to plans that help you gain weight, lose weight, go to the gym, live a healthy lifestyle. That's so important. But do not put your confidence on these things. You should be able to be confident in literally every single form of yourself. Okay, so do what you're going to do, but you need to feed yourself with so much love every single day, guys. When you wake up. Go to the mirror and say, you know what? I have the best body ever. I am so in love with my body. Guys, fall in love with that big stomach. It's crazy, but fall in love with your big stomach. Fall in love with your butt. Fall in love with your body. Fall in love with your face. Guys, okay. For a long time, I'm talking about myself. For a very long time, I couldn't be confident because of my forehead. If, guys, I had to fall in love with the fact that I have a five head. 
I started to tell myself, you know what? Girls with big foreheads are so gorgeous. And guys, trust me, today, today I'm able to show up, be the best confident version of myself with that big forehead, okay? So trust me. These affirmations that you're going to do in the morning, they work. If it worked for me, boo, it can work for you every single thing i say on this podcast i've done and i've seen that okay this actually works so do this every morning i challenge you to do it for 21 to 30 days where you just wake up in the morning go in front of your mirror and just speak so much love so much positivity over these things that you feel are the reason why you're not confident right so another thing is okay guys when it comes to confidence they did not lie when they said fake it till you make it baby pretend to be a confident girl trust me you know how they say it takes 21 days for you to actually get used to a habit like to create a habit baby if you pretend for 21 days or more you will actually see that oh my gosh I'm not pretending anymore. It's actually a habit. Guys, everything I say, I've done. I used to pretend to be confident. I used to show up in ways that were pretending, but it eventually became who I am. The more you do it, the more it becomes who you are. Fake it till you make it, baby. Trust me, it works. Do it, okay? Okay. Now, this is just a tip that I just wanted to bring into um, this podcast. Guys, there's so much importance in using music. I'm going to use the term baddie music. So if you go onto YouTube, you can actually just search baddie music and you're going to get a playlist or something that has just got that music that just radiates confidence confident energy guys it doesn't necessarily have to be baddie music guys have you ever listened to a song and you're just like you know what i can literally walk down the runway right now like i can i can be a model right now guys listen to those songs those songs are your best friends literally listen to that music every single time and feel like the girl you are because baby you are her like literally you are her okay so make sure you have your playlists your songs that just help you radiate confident energy okay um guys positive self-talk is so important There is so much importance in speaking positivity over yourself. So obviously, for example, you wake up, you do affirmations. I am so beautiful. I'm this. I'm in love with my body. Guys, you can't go about your day and then start speaking bad about yourself. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so fat. Oh my gosh, I'm so skinny. Oh my gosh, I have a big forehead. I'm so ugly. No, baby. You need to stop speaking these things over yourself. You can't keep on saying, I am insecure. You are not, baby. You are confident. You are beautiful. Speak positive things over yourself, boo. Positive self-talk is so important because now we're going to talk about Jesus. I'm sorry. We're going to talk about the Bible. The Bible says there's so much power in our tongue. So when you say something, it actually becomes, guys. We speak things into existence. If you're going to say, I'm ugly, baby, you will be ugly and people will see you as ugly. But if you keep on speaking these positive things over yourself, you will actually see that, you know what? I'm actually beautiful. I'm actually, I'm actually her, you know? Um, Yeah, guys, speak so much positive things and so much life into yourself guys it is so important right guys there's so much importance in wearing what makes you feel good those clothes that make you feel the most confident baby girl rock those clothes guys i feel like it's not even clothes like even makeup lashes but as i said before don't let it be the center of your confidence don't make it become a situation whereby you only feel confident when you have your lashes done no I'm not saying don't have your lashes done, but baby, whether you have or whether you don't have your lashes on, you still need to be confident. So yeah, guys, wear your lashes, do your makeup, do your hair, wear those outfits that make you feel good, you know, radiate confidence. Do that, baby, and show up as the confident girl that you are, okay? Um, This is similar to faking it till you make it, but you need to act like a confident girl. Guys, you have to show up in spaces as a confident person. 
And I know it's hard, but think about something like this. If you could become the girl of your dreams, like right now, how would the girl of your dreams show up? How would she show up in spaces, places? How would she be around people? Act like her. You can't you can't want to be a confident person and you always show up as somebody that is not confident. Somebody that just, no, baby, you need to act like a confident girl. Hey, love. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode and do not forget who you are because, baby, you are her.